Hey everybody, Garbage Gamer here, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, what I've done so far with my Ouya. I know it's dark because it's about 10.30 at night, and having the lights out in my room here better shows the screen, so... And I do apologize for this sort of guerrilla-style filmmaking with this. Uh, as most people know, you can't really do much in the way of capturing through HDMI unless you spend a pretty good amount of money on a capture device, which I don't have that kind of money, so I guess we're stuck with this. Um, and I do have a sorta HD web camera here, so the quality isn't horrible, but it's not uh, that great. But anyway, so today I'm going to show you what I've done to my Ouya as of, uh, let's see, when did I get it? I got it in end of May. I was one of the lucky backers to actually get theirs somewhat on time. Um, so anyway, uh, so what I've done, I'll just give you a rundown. I have uninstalled the, uh, I've rooted my Ouya. Uh, this is the first time I've ever rooted or jailbroke really anything. As uh, Ouya is my first Android device ever. And in, in the first experience when any kind of uh, s small phone app store or anything like that. So, yeah, wanting to, the novelty of the OUYA for me came from, you know, supporting the whole independent development market, but also having a device here at home that I can play around with the Android market with the Google Play Store, uh, stuff like that. So what I've done is I've installed uh, CM10 Experimental, which is the uh, a new system ROM, uh, pretty much just like reinstalling an operating system. Uh, so I'm running a 4.12 version of Android, um, and and it has access to the Play Store. And the reason I'm keeping this one, the reason I chose that one, is they are currently developing it uh, to where we can add Ouya Store access as well. So I still can support Ouya and kind of run my own and still have a more standard version of Android on here. Uh, so let's. Let's get started here. I can show you what you can do now with a uh, custom ROM install, which is actually really easy to do. Um, I'm I'm pretty tech savvy, but I've, like I said, I've never worked on anything that has anything to do with Android, so rooting and stuff was all new to me when I did this, and it took me maybe a day and a half to figure out. So, so, so let's switch over to HDMI here. Um, I've custom laid out mine. Um, CM10 is optimized for a controller, so I can't just use this and select stuff. Um, this will run a lot of standard OUYA based games. Uh, for example, here's a Stalag Flight. And Stalag Flight runs the same as it would on the standard OUYA, non modified. You know, it's all the same stuff. The only difference is the OUYA button uh, no longer functions when you're in this. Uh, default so I can just kill myself here. Um, but you can exit the game just fine. Uh, the standard now when you come back here, one thing you always gotta remember is uh, you gotta go down here and shut down any apps that were running. So that that does get kinda tedious after a while, but it's nothing too annoying. So so let's try some uh, games that are not on the OUYA store but run amazingly well. Ones like uh, Riptide GP here. I noticed a lot of vector unit games run pretty well. So, let's try, the, let's try this one here. And of course this is the Tegra optimized version so you get the better water effects, you get the water splashing in your face, you know, stuff like that. So the game runs, from what I've seen in videos, uh, the game runs as it should. No slowdown or anything like that. You can see the water here on the screen there. Those were some of the added Tegra only effects. And so 
that's that's Riptide GP there. And all these games, mind you, I acquired them legally. Uh, I used the Google Play Store, purchased them, and some of these are free. So, yeah, that was the advantage of the Play Store. A lot of people wanted was that they had uh, applications and games that they have already paid for that aren't on the Ouya Store that they wanted to play on their Ouyas. Either they had a phone that couldn't play the game, or they did have a phone that could play the game, but they didn't have the way to hook it up to their TV. The Ouya gave them that option. So, um, I do, like I said, I do have some video games on here, but for me it was mostly wanting to get uh, some of the non uya Android-based games to try them out because I had never played them before. Um, so, Shine Runner and Beach uh, Buggy Blitz are the same deal because uh, they're both vector unit games. They play identical. They're just different scenarios. Shine Runner, you're a... Uh, a shine runner, you're a moonshine uh, smuggler on an airboat and you're just driving through, bouncing off alligators and cops and beach buggy is what it is you're a beach buggy and you just drive around on beaches collecting coins so uh, some of the other games uh, that we have here are Dead Trigger um, you do have to set up the controls for this I, not every time but it seems to Control seem to disappear after a while, which is no big deal. I mean, I'll do that later. Yeah, this is the free version, so it is ad supported, as you can see. This is legit. Uh, so you just all you do is just go in here to customize gamepad. Oh, my buttons are saved. So it did save my controls. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So. Going to do a main quest mission here. I'll show you how well it plays. As you can see, the game runs really well here. I mean, I'm not all that surprised as uh, these games uh, like Shadow Gun and Dead Trigger were made. In the original versions were the Ouya, not Ouya, but uh, Tegra optimized versions, so they were supposed to run on this this exact hardware. So it wasn't really I hoped it would run. It was. I kind of expected it to run this well, and it does not disappoint. It kind of reminds me of a slow version of uh, Black Ops Zombies. Like if they just took Black Ops Zombies and really slowed it down. Made it more tactical. So the graphics are great, it is running, I believe this runs in 720p. Uh, if anybody knows if that's true, leave a comment below. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite games right now. Very little setup. Ready for some zombie action. I'm using the, uh, the touchpad on the Ouya. You get used to it after a little while. So, you know, you get used to using it. So, like that. so let's, let me show you Zombie Driver. This is another Tegra optimized game. This one actually I got off the Tegra Zone. Uh, you can get the Tegra Zone app off the Google Play Store and it gives you all the games 
Android-based games that are optimized for NVIDIA Tegra. So, and this game runs flawlessly. I didn't even need to set up the controls for this. It literally just worked right out of the gate. runs, as you can see it runs perfectly. No slowdown whatsoever. And I've actually played the PC version of this and the gameplay is identical, it even looks the same. I was actually quite amazed that they were able to pull off this game on an Android device and keep the quality of the PC version intact. And I can verify, I mean probably minus some minor graphics downgrade, but it's really hard to tell. I'm just kind of purposely running into things to show off some explosions. Some blood. Is everybody likes next blood? Fat guy, there we go. <laughs> and this is the most indestructible taxi cab ever. And I say that as I flip. It's very easy to control. You control with one joystick, actually. Uh, oh, I can claim my first reward. Where is it? No money. <clears throat> oh no, it's over here. My first reward is mini guns. As you, this is just the slaughter mode. As you kill things, kill zombies and stuff, you unlock more weapons. You know, my boosters. And this is a fun game if you have an Android device or you have a Nuya. This is definitely a game to seek out. Uh, if you have it, obviously, legally purchased. I think it's like six bucks or something. It's well worth the money if you want just all out zombie carnage. So yeah, so that's uh, Zombie Driver, THD. Um, so yeah, I mean, the other standard fare, like OnLive, uh, so there's the Tegra Zone, XBMC, uh, they all work just fine. The XBMC has different controls now, for some reason, like, when I load it up here, um, I can't use the joystick anymore, and when I press right on the D-pad, it backs out. But I don't know what that's all about. So you're kind of, if you do this, just keep in mind that if you're, if you set your UE up around XBMC, you might want to get a wireless mouse and keyboard because you will be having to use the touchpad from now on, which is not a complete drawback, but it does make it a little harder to use. So, so yeah, so that's pretty much what you can do with a, uh, an OUYA that has a new ROM installed. Uh, I will put links in the descriptions on all the resources I used to uh, get going on the mod. And I had some hiccups on the way, which I addressed in a couple of forums on the XDA developer forum, uh, which is the site that I used. So, so yeah, feel free to check those out. Uh, this has been Garbage Gamer for Geeky.com. Be sure to uh, check out the article addendum to this that I explain in detail more uh, what some of the games I've been playing, uh, what about the mod, more about the people. And uh, yeah, so check it out. This is the uh, Garbage Gamer saying check you next time.